how to unlock how to unlock your highest full inner potential by becoming your highest version of yourself this is how in this video stay tuned As you have seen in the last video, that we have three brains, three brains. The first brain is the heart, the second brain is the digestive system, and the third brain is here on the head. And so to activate your highest full inner potential, you have to align all the seven chakras. How you do that? Through my self-experience, as I am becoming even more of that. And so I can give you this advice through my self-experience. Everything is aligned with the heart chakra. Where there is no love, there is nothing else. And so love is all there is and all there is not as oneness. And so everything is connected to your love heart chakra. You cannot activate your third eye without having a balanced, perfect equilibrium heart chakra. You cannot be rooted grounded perfectly grounded if your heart chakra is not aligned the heart the heart chakra connects your roots and the higher realms into one and so the perfect alignment comes from the love that's why the love of attraction the um, law of attraction most of the time most of the times doesn't work for everyone and also if it works, is not bringing you joy. Because joy is our love. This is what we are made of. Of pure light, peace, joy. It's all love. And so, if you create something without love, only with your mind, don't look or don't seek for joy. Because there, will, there won't be joy for you in such mind places. Let me tell you something for you to understand. Three brains, digestive system, the heart and the head brain. Three layers, body, mind and soul. And so, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit, let me tell you something, the body is the most danced form of the soul. The mind is less dense than the body, but it's still more dense than the soul. And the soul is the lightest form of existence, of love itself, of pure light love. And so the body is the soul and the mind is the soul. They are just an extension of the soul. They are just an, a denser, like a density form of itself. The soul before it comes into this realm, it condenses itself into a new form which is the layer of the mind and from the mind it extends itself through another layer which is more dense which is the body 
And in this doing, it creates the emotional layer, which is connected with the water element. The body is the physical, which is the earth element. The fire element, which is connected directly to the soul, the fire of life, the creativity. The creativity, but like the order of life, like the, the will power. This is the fire. And also the layer of air, which is the heart chakra, the love. Love is in the air, which is the air element, which is an astral layer. So love is in the air. And the throat is also another layer, which is the space itself. The third eye is the mental element, which is connected to the mind directly. And the crown is the top of the mind, which then opens itself to the creation of the whole universe, which is symbolized by the lotus. So what if you know something like to awaken the seven chakras, I will need an entire life journey for this. What if I tell you that it doesn't have to take so long? To awaken the highest and the full, the fullest inner potential of yourself by becoming the highest version of yourself. I'm on this journey. And so it's not impossible and it's also not too long. It doesn't have to take too long. It's all, it all comes through you. It all comes through your perception. If you put in your mind, on your perception, that it has to take too long, then it's gonna take too long. Or maybe never you will achieve it. Because you are seeing as impossible. But when you start to see things as possible and never as impossible, then you start to open the way to life. This is how it works. You are creating everything, not just with your thoughts. You are creating constantly at many different levels, many different densities, many different dimensions at the same time at once right now. Every time you are thinking on something, because you are, you are creating. Every time you are feeling something, you are creating. Every time you are saying something, you are creating. Every time you are seeing something, you are creating. Every time you are hearing something, you are creating. Every time you are smelling something, you are creating. You are a perfect human being. You are a, a manifest generator itself. It's just that you are not aware of it. And in order to become aware, that's where the things start to become more easy. Because you don't have to achieve nothing than just to become aware. Awareness is the highest knowledge, wisdom, becoming of the human being. We are human beings. We are not human making. We are not human becoming. We are human being, which we are already being. So if we are being, then we just have to become aware, be aware. We are human being aware, so we have to add a third word to the human being. Human being what? Human being aware. Aware of everything, because you don't have to add any word after it. Because aware, human being aware. If the human is being aware, then he's aware. He's totally aware of everything. In order to become aware, you have to start from your physical body. Is your physical body feeling well enough to accept the impossible as possible? Then you see, you have to self-analyze. You have to look in the mirror and ask to yourself if you are feeling great physically. Like, if you are treating your body as it should be treated, divinely. If it's not, 
then start to treat your body divinely. So seek for the joy of the physical realm. So seek for the joy of the body first, which is treat your body with the purest light love you can give. Give the, the speedest of light food. Give the speedest of light water. Give the best you can to your body. Not being ruthless like I want to be the, the most beautiful like this. No, just be who you truly are, natural. You don't have to become something that you are not. Just be who you really are by treating your body the best you can. Second, the mind. You have to reprogram your mind because we have a very dirty subconscious mind through this life process. We are born into this matrix and now we have to get rid of the matrix. And the first thing, and also through the body, is to get out of your fucking job. For real. Your job, what we have done with our lives, it's not the fault of the Illuminati or whatever you want to call it. It's our own fault because we have accepted that environment. We could just manifest against all of them and create our own rules, which there is not. So if there is not, why there is rules? Because they have created. So why they can create the rules and we not? It's because they are aware. They are aware. They can, they, they can become more aware than us because they have created this awareness in a way that they can generate rules and laws and this over us. And there shouldn't be that way. And so we have to reverse osmosis. The best what tap water you can drink is reverse osmosis or even beyond that distilled water like I'm drink. And so we have to reverse the process so that we can restart to be who we really are, natural. Get out of your job, because look, they have made in a way, they have created this life in a way that why we have to work for paper, man? <laughs> Imagine why they have, there's the day and the night, and the most beautiful part of the time is during the day when there is sun. And where are you in this time? Inside, in the F job, man. Inside in the room, you cannot even see the sun. And working, 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 work. Why they are doing that with us? For the end of the month, you, you receive some, now it's like digital, some paper which they said it's val valuable and then you take this paper and it disappears and then you go again and you stay in this life years and years and years and years giving them your life and why they are doing that by doing that they maintain your mind occupied your body occupied your mind occupied and when the body and mind are occupied then the soul cannot interact with you but so the soul can interact through the astral layer which is the most the most powerful one which is through love and so when you feel this deepest love within you you can break any barrier any limit by what you are doing right now by watching this video for example this is already love speaking for you to say hey awake the fuck out man let's go let's start man this is real life man this is not the real life let's go get out and the soul is there with you always you say you know i am alone it's just because you are so intoxicated through this system and you are so occupied that you cannot even listen the thinnest voice of the soul. You can only listen your big ego, which has grown so much 
that now it seems impossible to return to the natural state. But it is possible, because love can break through anything. Through diseases, through any law, through any barrier, through any limit. Just claim it. And it shall be open to you. To align the seven chakras, the easiest way, how I started, is to get out of my job. I went myself to the boss and say, look, I don't want to work anymore for you. And so I start. Now it's been four years since I'm awake. And I'm on the right path. I see my journey as not taking too long. It's being fast, actually, because when I look like backwards, it's like I don't even see myself anymore. This myself in the past, it looks like it's from past lives. Because it's it doesn't seem that it's my past. I'm seeing myself like I am, I was already, already always like this. As so strong is my journey right now. And this is also happening with my brother and her twin flame. When we look ourselves backwards, it's the same, even if it's one year ago, it's already like from the past life. Because every, t every moment is a new life. We are in a new life, limit breaker. We are breaking through all the limits that were imposed as barriers in our life. And so one of the first things that they did with us is to occupy our lives with the bullshit job. This job is to maintain your body and mind occupied the most they can. And they even say you can work extra hours if you want for a little bit more paper and you accept and you go and you stay 12 hours working. You cannot even see your family, right? You cannot stay with your family, you cannot eat properly, you cannot have time and space for yourself. You cannot even contact to your soul. And even though we are so powerful, that even though beings like you that are watching this video are becoming aware already, are becoming awakened, and can even meditate and so. It's hard, but you still can, because we are such powerful beings. And so the, the best way is to get out of your job, because if you want and wish that the universe manifests your ultimate reality in your life, you have to give it a chance. Because how you wish that the universe creates your, your way of manifestation, if you are not believing in the universe, if you are putting your trust and confidence into a, a boss, into your job, you are hoping and having more security in your boss, in your company, where you work for, than in the universe. And so then you hope that the universe manifests your life. How can it be? You're trusting more in your companies, in your job, than in the universe, man. And then you ask for the universe, manifest my life. The universe only started to manifest my life as soon as I got out of my job. Because then, I had to trust in something. I trusted in myself, I trusted in God, I trusted in the universe, in the love. And so all begins. And where I am now, doesn't even get comparable to what I was before. Of such magnificence. It can take a little bit of time, it can take a little bit of space, it can take a little bit of anything in our lives. But it is my present moment right now. And so that's the most important thing. Because we depend on our perception, on our accept acceptance, forgiveness, love, unconditional. And so now I apply 
much more my natural state of being, which is unconditional forgiveness, unconditional acceptance and unconditional love. This brings you to a peaceful light being. And so by getting out of your job, you start to have time and space to create, to manifest your life. This starts to be who you really are. Start to have the most, the best diet you can, which is based on almost 100% raw fruit. And you will see the power of being detox. To get aware, you have to be detox. You cannot have a polluted body. This is a temple. It has to be purified. In order for your body to become purified, you have to clean it through water and food. And the best food you can give it is fruit. And the best water you can give is pure distilled water. Distilled water is pure water. And you have to drink like almost 4 liters per day in order to cleanse the full body. And don't worry that it's going to remove minerals from your body. Leach. It's only going to leach the inorganic ones. The organics is going to remain. And so this is the cleansing effect. And so from cleansing your body, you start also to cleanse your mind by meditation, Tai Chi, yoga, and so on. Chios healing, whatever you want to do spiritually. This will start to train your mind to become the present moment of now. And the best you can do is to start to be aware of your breath. Because the highest manifestation of life is to become in the present, to be aware of the present moment of now. And the highest present moment of now is our breathing. And when you start to become aware of your breathing, even in everything you do, during meditation, whatever, you start to become aware of your being, of your inner full potential. The soul starts to speak through you. The mind starts to be organized. The soul is the speaks through the thinnest voice you can have, you can ever listen. It's a thinnest, like magic, like a feeling, like oh intuition. I have to do this. I'm gonna do this. And this comes very soothing, very smooth. You can almost not feel at all. But when you feel it, you have these goosebumps. Because of such magnificent, such powerful feeling. The soul speaks mostly through feelings, which is the language of the soul. Mostly say, feelings are not, because I feel to do sex. Yes, that's how the soul feels. The soul is pure fire, burning within yourself. It's the fire of life, it's the fire of sun. It gives you the willpower, the strength, the confidence, the trust of being human. And the soul wishes you to become a human being aware. And so it's leading you to there. So you have to trust in the feelings of your soul which is its language. The mind speaks through thoughts, emotions, and through the body pain. But body pain could also be related to the soul, because whatever you don't follow the intuition of your soul, then you're going to follow through the hard way, which is pain. But for the soul, pain is not. Pain is love. Because some of the people they have to go till the hospital to stay in the bed, lay down there, connected to the machine and this, just to learn to remember who they are, to become more aware of the soul. But the soul doesn't wish that for you. But if it's that what you are creating, then it's going to be that hard for you, which for the soul is not hard. It's all love. The soul only recognizes love. 
and we through this distance that there is no distance but it's a, a, an illusion we create fear wherever you don't wherever you are not as love you are as fear there's only two feelings in this life love and fear fear and love fear is illusion love is the ultimate reality the highest present moment of now and so there's a mudra that i i want to share with you which it should be shared only with the special ones and so if you feel special not special like yeah i'm special and you're not no we are all special but i mean if it's really the right moment for you to have this present if it's not then let it aside and review this when you are ready this is not for everyone because then you will say yeah it doesn't work it's not like this you have to feel from the deepest heart you have to be purified you have to be detox you have to be who you really are and that's how it works otherwise this doesn't work that's why i say for the special because the special is who you really are and so you could be very away from this state of being and so it is a mudra and this mudra is very special because it can activate open and balance three chakras at once which starts from the heart then the throat and then the third eye such beautiful mudra three mudras three chakras into one single gesture which is a mudra and do it through meditation just sit down comfortable position with the back straight legs crossed and your hands touch here like this this is the lotus the lotus open the three chakras and you meditate like this with eyes closed you could start with eyes open but then close and then be mindless no thoughts just pure divine love and put a smile on your face to help enhance the connectivity and so be detoxed through the digestive system which is your brain get the love you need claim for love from the soul from god from the universe wherever you feel this enlightenment love coming through you and living flaming through you and then be prepared to activate your higher realms of perception this will help you envision the life the present the highest present moment you ever wished for it's now here ready for you when you are ready i'm sorry to take your all this precious time but i just hope that with all this time that maybe you have lost it will it won't be anymore if it's valuable for you as divine information for your temple for your being to apply in your life i'm going on the same journey and i'm very close to be aware of my ultra state of being and so if you wish to support me because i have such ideas which with the help of everyone i can generate the aid to help everyone to get out of the matrix and receive them in a retreat in the tropicals and in this retreat through my self experience through my self enlightenment i will share with you all i can all i am in order for you to become the the highest version of yourself 
I will open this retreat with all that you need to realize your highest version of yourself. And so this is going to be the dream for you. And so if you want to make part of it, support me on patreon.com slash waltv. Start support me over there, read the projects I have over there. I'm also producing music in Locus TV. And so if you start to support me and there's enough souls supporting me, then as oneness, I can and I can be able to open this retreat for everyone, to receive everyone. And so you will no longer have to worry about what's going to be about my life. If I get out of my job and get out of my country, don't worry, because there will be a paradise place for you, awaiting you. So if you still can in this now, then start support me because my intentions are, are your intentions. My project is your project. My realization is your realization as oneness to turn this world into heaven. This is my journey in this realm. So you are not alone. I was once back thinking I was alone. And I no longer am alone. I can feel the thousands of thousands of thousands and millions of souls interconnecting their love energy through everyone into one God being light, peace, love. <laughs> and so I am eternally grateful for your existence. And my name is Ivo Arthur. And this is WOW TV. We are all one. Namaste.